let's talk about decommissioning. Many times, you know, your your starting point may be different. Many people will have something like this where they're Microsoft 365. We have an Azure environment, government, a commercial, doesn't matter. And we have these 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 servers that are that are on premises. We have another webinar where we are much, much deeper on this, but it kind of fits into the overall uh, sphere here. And what we're really trying to do is transition these applications inside of Azure. Now, sometimes what you'll start off with is some of the core services. Yeah, I need to deploy my Azure SQL service because maybe that's where the application. I started with this line of business inventory application and, and instead of doing it as a, and you can see we have it in both places, but instead of doing it as just a virtual machine, we've decided to modernize that. What does that mean? Well, I'll talk about that in a little bit. And you start to, you know, most of the times when you have an application that works with some data, you know, if that data is on-prem coming off of a machine, different strategy. If it's if it's uh, like an ERP solution, you know, the data and the application kind of want to be together. Start small, start with something you can hold on to, and don't be afraid to mar modernize those as you move along. So here, you can have a VPN gateway that connects your sites. You're doing good things with the the identity in the Azure Active Directory, and I still have local like uh, local Active Directory that's that's hanging around on prem, and I can actually decide to put that that virtual machine with with Azure Active Directory in the cloud if I want. In this case, I'm not really showing that, but you can actually Again, put that multi-master. Azure Active Directory domain services is different. Essentially, you can filter or have all of them. It is a is a is a replica that comes from Azure Active Directory. So the, the little daisy chain here is your local act your local Active Directory. So if we were to you know kind of look at the uh, you know this area here where local Active Directory will sync with Azure Active Directory. Now I'm gonna keep using those words at the moment, although they've renamed it to Entra ID, but I think we'll all follow along with this. So it will replicate with Azure Active Directory. These users and even groups that go from here into Azure Active Directory, uh, Azure Active Directory domain services, uh, it is a replica of this. Now, what comes through this are a couple of key points. You know, your SAM account name, that's where you put like your domain slash, whatever your name is. Uh, it, it would go in there what's called your SID ID, which is what Windows likes to use to keep track of things for like file system permissions and things like that. All of those, you know, can replicate over. What isn't the same is here, this is Contoso.net. Here, this would be something like corp.contoso.net. These two are not the same. And there's limitations. You can't extend the schema. You can't attach directly to, or you can't log into the domain controllers to endpoints. You can still use active use of computers. So they are different. But this line of business application really needs it. So we can connect it to this. Now we're using a service. So later on, if I get rid of this local Active Directory, these two are still connected. Now, depending on the application here, uh, there may be some other updates. Uh, if it just knew that we need login, if it uses the SID, if it uses your email, if it uses the, you know, those kinds of things, it'll be fine. Uh, but if it, if it, uh, uh, you know, used anything like the specific domain, then you have to make some more updates. Anyhow, this would be a strategy you could use to further disconnect local Active Directory, use more cloud services. All right. So we talk about application modernization. It's a place where almost, every, unless somebody brings the topic up to me and saying, hey, do you wanna do this? When I bring up the topic, normally it's like, no, no, I don't wanna jump in that cold pool. That seems like too much. We wanna do it later. It's too hard, it's too difficult. I tell you to take a pause on it because, you know, it, it, especially when moving virtual machines into the cloud, and we'll have another a view of this as well. Uh, you, you know, there's still a lot of work that goes with it. You still have to patch those boxes. There's things to update it, like Azure Automation Account, which will help with doing updates and and those things. But you still have to manage it. You still have to monitor it. And then if that server goes down, you have to redeploy it. Maybe it's from backup. Maybe a new deployment strategy. You know, how do I do backup staging? You're you're actually doing all the work, but you're making it much much harder. So. Moving into the more modern applications, specifically for the ones at first that you've built or somebody has built for you. Uh, if your developers don't understand this type of things, a place where we can help out, I'll tell you, this makes a world of difference. Uh, one quick note that, that most people have issues with in this is that, well, hey, our database, we have one SQL server today and we do some permissions with cross, you know, with cross database queries. Uh, there's a now there's a new feature in preview right now that's been going on that allows for cross database queries. Uh, you do have to update your SQL commands to go do it, but it now supports it, which you know, kind of removes that issue. Anyhow, you know, moving to this type of architecture, specifically, you know, 
or especially since you already have the code and you do deployment, moving to this is, you know, maybe modest changes you'd have to make. The benefits are great, especially from an operations, deployment, management, backup thing. So, you know, I wouldn't put it off as you're looking to do the migration. You might think, well, let's just migrate it. You're just bringing a lot of baggage to it. So something to really consider as you, you know, as we as we go along.